Hey everybody, it's Brittany, and today I have a very special video for you guys. I'm like so excited to do this. This is my first video back since I got sick and like almost died and everything. So I'm just like ready to film. I get I don't even I don't know. But today's video is gonna be like I think probably my favorite video that I've ever done, ever done possibly. Like it's just so meaningful, so just really really cool that I get to do this video that it even happened. So I really really hope y'all enjoyed this. So today's video is going to be a story time. I feel like I'm just one of those YouTubers that just kind of does whatever and people seem to you know, like y'all seem to like it. So I just kind of go with the flow, but sometimes I do story times and this is one of those times. So I hope y'all enjoy. So a couple weeks ago I got to see my sister. She came up for Christmas to visit and everything. She stayed at her mom's and I have not seen my sister in about two or three years. Feels like three or four years. I don't even know. It feels like a very very long time since I've seen my sister. The last time I had seen my sister before that was the video of me and her opening. I think it was Josh email, Brittany email. I don't know. Me and her opening mail together. I'll link it down below. But that was the last time I had seen her. And then she came up to visit. So I got to finally see her. I was so excited. So um, I went up there and we just chilled for a little bit. We talked. We gave each other our little Christmas gifts. And I was watching Supernatural the other day. It kind of reminded me of like me and her how we are like Literally, uh, Dean gave Sam, like, some nudie magazines, and Sam gave, gave Dean, like, a little pie thing and some fuel for his car. Like, I, I just, oh, so magical, like, so meaningful, and that's kind of how we are when we do gift stuff, so I, I was very, very happy, and I was so happy to see my sister. I miss my sister so fucking much. She's, like, my favorite person in the world. Like, she literally, when I was younger, she got, we've got each other through so much. She got me through so much. We've been there for each other through everything, and... I just love her so much and so we had been planning for about four or five years to get this tattoo together um there was a tattoo that she had came up with and drawn and stuff a long time ago at the time i was like i don't even know like going through shit i think i was on probation and we was always talking and stuff like one day we're gonna get a tattoo and we're gonna live together we're gonna get a little house together and we'll stay together because we're best friends we'll always be best friends like sisters and all that stuff so we, we had a lot of plans so one of those plans was to get this tattoo that she drew up. And um, we planned to get it a while back. We never just had the money and weren't able to do it. But we finally got to do it. And I was so excited. So what it was and what it is is like a tattoo. It had a music note shaped heart and um, bat wings from Avenged Sevenfold, the Death Bat thing. Because that was the first band that she got me into. And music is like our soul, like... Both of us love music. Music is our favorite thing in life, and we're each other's favorite thing in life too because we're we're so we're so damn close. And we was like, we're gonna get this tattoo. So, anyways, um, the next day I got to go over. The first day we just hung out and we didn't get to do it because we weren't just couldn't get it yet. And the next day she messages me. She was like, "Girl, bring your ass over because it's time to get a tattoo." And I was like, "Girl, okay, I'm ready. I'm on my way." <laughs> um, so I was very very excited. So I have live footage. I have real footage from this. I have footage from the real thing happening, and I'm gonna show you all that here in a minute. But um. Yeah, so, uh, was so excited. We got the, she got hers first, and when I got mine, I was so nervous. Like, I've never got, this was my first tattoo, and I'd never got one in my life, and I was just like, I was scared I wouldn't be, I wasn't gonna be able to do it, like, it was gonna hurt, like, all that. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to handle it, but, y'all know y'all bitch Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. I can do anything. Um, but, so, yeah, I sit down, and I was, like, nervous. I was just like, oh my god, and... Uh, start getting the tattoo and it actually like really didn't hurt at all it feels just like a little bit of like I don't even know how to explain it like my best way to explain it is it's not really pain it's kind of just like a feeling but it doesn't didn't really hurt at all I got it on my shoulder um let me show you right now right now it's in the process of healing I've had it since December 26th 25th somewhere around there and yeah I showed y'all already but I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you again that is my hair get out the damn way she told me it takes a month to heal. Like, I was going to wait till it healed to do this video. Then she told me it, it takes a month. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I could not wait. Y'all get to see it when it's healed anyway. But I, I love it so much. So, this is the tattoo. Oh, my hair. There it is. This was so, so, so special to me. You can see the little death bat wings and the music uh, note shaped heart. And it, it's so beautiful. We both got it. Matching tattoo. And this is our little thing. Um, so, the story behind it, as I was saying, was we had always planned to get it we always wanted and wanted it and it was so special because we've been through a lot she got me through like my first breakup i got her through some shit like i remember her and her boyfriend at the time like was fighting and shit and i literally just went downstairs and sat there with her and which i don't remember like if we talked much i was just like are you okay and i just kind of sat with her and the first time we met was um 
unfortunately, at the time, her uh, her Nana had passed away, and I, my mom took me over there, and I already knew her mom. Like, I talked to her mom a lot, and I was friends with her mom, and uh, so... Yeah, the, this day I met her, I had on this sweater. It was like a bumblebee. It was like a sweater that my mom gave me. I wish I could find it. I, I don't know where it's at now. But um, I was wearing this sweater, and we instantly, best friends. Because that night we talked, and we had fun. We listened to Avenged Sevenfold. Um, my fucking nightmare. Nightmare, that song, that was the first song. That was the got me into metal. And so, um, and at the time, I looked like Sullivan. I can't remember his first name right now remember his first name right now but something Sullivan and I reminded her of him so I got I adopted the last name Sullivan for a while now it's Cobain because I love my Kurt but Sullivan is still a part of me Josh is still a part of me all these names are still a part of me but anywho um we met through that and I remember telling her like you're my angel and like she was literally my saving grace because at the time I was going through so much heartbreak and she was going through a lot too we met each other at a time where we needed someone and we happen to be the someone that we needed. And that is very special to me. It makes me want to cry, kind of. Like, it's just so emotional for me. I have never... I have friends, but she is my best friend. Like, I literally met her when we was little. She told me that, like, um, she was a little bit older than me. So, they would come over to the house. And I was still kind of a baby. But I had a lot of Barbies. And she was always jealous that I had more Barbies. And I was like, I'm sorry. So, I literally gave her a Barbie one year, too. Just to give her a Barbie. A um, little special thing. But, um, anywho, the, our, our friendship is something that's very special. Um, at the funeral, I came and I'm a very awkward person. This isn't something that I'm, is easy for me, but something about like our souls, we were meant to meet each other. I feel I went up to her. She was just sitting there picking at the grass and I went up to her and sat beside her and we just kind of sat there and I was like, I love you and I'm here for you and everything. And that the start of our friendship we have she's like the beautiful friend i have a lot of beautiful friendships but she is very special to me because she has always fucking been there for me I, i'm crazy y'all know this and she's been there through a lot with me and stuck through me some, somehow so i love you courtney i love you so much so anyways the tattoo process uh like i'm saying it did not hurt at all barely the only time it hurt was towards the end like when it was kind of going over it again and again it started to get like a really sore kind of pain but it really didn't hurt at all and I, I really love it so um i'm gonna insert the footage here i might do a little bit of a voiceover with it um roll that footage okay so this is the footage and yeah literally the whole time i was sitting here i forgot to mention this but i was just sitting there singing the whole time that she did my tattoo i was just singing to myself i was like i'm not trying to distract myself but again it still didn't really hurt that bad but i, I really love it but this is her doing the tattoo i love watching it's so weird but oh me and my weird face i was like what's going on um oh my gosh I literally busted out laughing watching this back. I didn't hear it in real life. Um, but continue the tattoo. How does it feel? Huh? I said, how does it feel? Not that bad, actually. I had to pick some parts that kind of was like, but. Yeah, you're not going to be able to hear me say anything over this. The tattoo thing was really, really, really loud. But, yeah, um, I, I love watching it. It's so cool to just watch and... I just, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm shocked myself. But yeah, um, I just don't even know what to think. I love it so much. Just showing the, zooming in on the tattoo a little. That was literally the whole process. It probably took about 30 minutes, maybe, to get the full tattoo done. But, um, like I said, it didn't hurt. I did sing to myself, but that was to distract myself so that I wouldn't think about it. But it really wasn't that bad. And I would, I can't wait to get another tattoo one day. I want to get the thing Kurt has, like the K and the shield. But um, that's the end. I mean, um, there he is. So beautiful. We'll get you guys.
<laughs> but yeah, so that was me getting the tattoo in. I just, I love it. I love every part of it. For me and her to have this matching tattoo, my, guard, my guardian angel is on my shoulder. We have another tattoo plan too that maybe I shouldn't tell y'all, but it, it has something to do with Lilo and Stitch and the concept of that. So that's going to be our next tattoo eventually. So, but this was the first one, my first tattoo. She has several, but this is like the most special thing in my life. This was the best Christmas present ever for, to see her, spend time with her and to get our tattoo together so special so um yeah I don't know what else to say I feel like I just I'm very happy about it and I oh, I, I just don't even know what to say we are just literally the best of friends we will always be friends I hope uh, I'm pretty sure we will because we're just like connected at the I don't even we're connected at the shoulder now <gasps> like and I was like I was like we have to get it to where we can sit side by side and have it I'm going to insert, insert a picture here where we can sit side by side and it'll be like always like that. So I'm going to insert a picture here. And that was our first picture we took of it together. And the first time I'd seen her in a very long time. And I'm so happy I got to see her. I wish I could have got to spend more time with her, but I still feel very special. And now I feel more like, and it sounds kind of weird. I don't know, but I feel like she's with me all the time, you know, and I hope that she feels that way with her having it too. So Again, with our friendship, this tattoo was the first tattoo I ever got and something meaningful. I'm so happy I got it. I was so happy I was able to go through with it. I was scared I was going to be a pussy. Everybody was so proud of me. They was like, we're so proud of you. We're surprised you got through it. And I was too because I, was, I didn't think I'd be able to handle it. But I uh, made it through. And uh, I remember, like, the person who did it saying, "This you a bleeder. And I was like, I don't know what that means, but I'm sorry. Uh, apparently, I was bleeding a lot. I don't know. But I love it. And... Um, Courtney, I know that you're watching this. You'll always be my best friend. This is a magical thing that we finally got to get. And, um, we've just been there for each other through so much. I can do so many stories and stuff. We could do a video together on so many stories we've had together. I've done stories before about with her and everything. And I just, I love her so much. And I feel very happy to, for me and her to have something so special to connect each other even more. Because we're already very connected, but... You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, like I was saying, again, didn't hurt. Really awesome. I love it so much. And again, I will show you one more other time, but this was the finished result. And, um, once it's finally like healed all the way, I will show y'all that too. So, um, I don't know what else to say. I hope I've done this well. I'm really like, I'm, I'm just like everywhere right now where I'm still getting over being sick, but, um, I just, I'm very happy to have this. Like, every day I wake up, I'm like, I have my sister on my shoulder. My guardian angel. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm strange. But, um, uh, I guess I'll go. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. My first tattoo was amazing. Amazing experience. And, um, I encourage y'all, if you ever want to get a tattoo, make sure it's something that you really feel close to your heart. You know you want to get. Like, that's one thing to say. Because don't ever get something, or never get no, nobody's name tattooed on you. Unless it's family or something like that. Or, like, sister or something like that. Nobody's, like, boyfriend, girlfriend, don't get their name tattooed on you. It's bad luck. And also, all that shit. Just don't do it. Okay? I promise you. Do not do it. Um, but, um, other than that didn't hurt. There's some places I know that maybe it hurts a little bit more. I don't know. I feel like on my wrist it would hurt more, but where my back is like, it just didn't really hurt. But, um, I don't know what else to say, but I love it so much. I love you guys so much. I hope y'all enjoy this tattoo experience video and, um, I hope y'all enjoy the footage of it. I, uh, my sister filmed it for me. I got her to film it and it's just an amazing thing to me. I'm so happy to have it and I will always have it and it's a very cool thing. So I'm going to go. I'm going to stop rambling. This video is long enough. I'm so sorry. But I do love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you all in the next video. So before you go, and if you want to, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. <gasps> Become a member of the Britney Army today and give Kurt Cobain his rainbow wings. And I know that I'm extra. But y'all know that's why y'all love me. And all my social media will be down in the description box below as always. And I'll see you guys later. Mwah. Bye, everybody.